Hello students, my name is Vineet and welcome to Aglas in School. Today we are going to discuss class 4 TVS chapter number 19 that is Abdul in the Garden. The summary of the chapter is, it was a holiday when Abdul went to help his father. His father was cleaning out the grasses from the vegetable stems. He was doing so because that stems, the grasses were eating up the water for the trees. Abdul also started helping his father but in doing so, he had no idea to what to do and he just broke down this stick that was supporting the pea plant and also broke down the stem. Abdul's father told him the right way to do that and after that Abdul was able to do it very quickly. Then he observed that the root of the grass plant are longer and much more spread than it is outside. The Abdul father remembered that he has to bring radish to his home and he started digging it out. They were digging it out in between Abdul thought that whether it is also a root and suddenly the rain started pouring. They picked up the radish and went home. In between they saw a tree falling down. After reaching home, Abdul, his Abu and Ami were drinking tea and were talking about the day. One day when he was returning from school, he saw a tree and started thinking about lots of questions about it. So these were the summary from this chapter. Now let's move on to the question answer. At page number 158, question number 1. The stick which was stuck in the ground fell very easily. It was difficult to pull out a small grass. Why? The answer is, grass has root which grips it to the soil. There is no root in the stick. So it was easy to pluck the stick but not the grass. Question 2. Do all plants have roots? The answer is yes, all the plants have root with them. Question 3. Look at some plants and trees around you. Imagine how deep and spread out the roots of them are. The answer is grass is 5 inches, potato 1 foot, marigold 1 foot, mango 4 to 5 meter. At page number 159, question number 4. After 3 days, Abdul saw that one broken part of the pea plant had dried. Guess which part would have dried up and why? The answer is the leaves dried up due to the broken part. Water sucked by root could not reach there. Question 5. Why do you think the neem tree did not fall despite the strong wind? The answer is there are roots which hold the trees in soil. Question 6. On putting water in the soil where the plants are growing, the dropping becomes fresh again. How? The answer is the root of the plant sucks the water from the soil which reaches the leaves. Question 7. What do you feel? Do all plants need water? The answer is yes, all plants do need water for their growth. Question 8. Which of the plants around you need regular watering? The answer is the plant that dries up need water at regular basis. Question 9. What will happen if nobody gives water to these plants? The answer is the plant will get dry and end up dying. Question 10. Abdul realized that he never watered the huge neem tree. Where did it get its water from? He thought. What of the plants around you do not need water? Where do you they get water from? Make two guesses. The answer is neem mango people etc. do not need water. They have roots deep inside the soil which suck the water. At page 160. Question 11. Abdul wondered whether radish was a root. Why did he think so? The answer is yes, radish is a root because it grows under the soil. It is a special kind of root which also serves as a storage of food. Question 12. Look at the picture below and find out which of these vegetables are roots. The answer is these vegetables are roots and this picture is on your screen. Abdul has more questions. Abdul saw a plant growing out of the wall in school. Abdul wondered. First, how deep must the roots of these plants be going? The plant's root reaches the soil. The answer was. Second, how do the roots get water? Answer, roots get water from soil. Third, how big will this plant grow? The answer is, these plants don't grow very much. Fourth, what will happen to the wall? The answer, its cracks will increase. Fifth, can you give the name of the plant in the picture? Answer, yes, it is a people plant. Page 161. Question 13. Have you ever seen a plant growing from a crack in a wall? Where was it? Do you have any question when you saw it? The answer is yes, I saw a plant that grew over a wall at my school. That's for the back wall of my school. I had some question in my mind when I saw the plant. Question 14. 
What were some of your questions? Ask elders and find the answers. Find out the name of the plant you saw. The answer is, question in my mind was from where the seed of the plant come on the wall. Answer, the seed of this plant carried by the bird to the wall. Also, that was a banyan tree. Question 15. Abdul saw a huge tree that had fallen on the roadside. He could see some of its wood broken. Abdul thought, first, would someone have uprooted such a big tree or would it have fallen on its own? The answer is, strong winds uprooted the tree. Second, how old would this tree be? Answer, this tree would be about 50 years old. Third, Abdul on seeing a tree surrounded by cemented ground, thought that how will it get rainwater? The answer is, the tree gets rainwater through its root, which was deep into the soil. Let us talk. Question 16. Which are the oldest trees in your area? Find out how old the trees are. The answer is, in my area, the oldest tree is banyan tree. People say that it is 500 years old. Question 17. Name animals who lives in this tree. The answer is a group of parrot and a pair of squirrel lives in this tree. Question 18. Have you ever seen any big tree that had fallen down? What did you think when you saw it? The answer is, Yes, I have seen a big tree that had fallen down due to the flood at the bank of the river. I was very amazed when I saw it. Unusual roots. Question 19. Have you swung from a banyan tree? What did you hold to swing? The answer is, yes, when I go to my village, I swung from banyan tree. I held ropes like thick structure which was hanging from the branches of the tree. At page 162. Question 20. Have you ever seen any tree which has roots growing from its branches? The answer. Yes, the big banyan tree in my village and another one in the garden have several long roots like structure growing from its branches. Page 163. Let us do this. Question 21. Did you observe the seedlings come out of the seed? Draw the picture of the seedlings at, as it looks on the fourth and eighth day. The answer is, seedling came out only after three days and the answer is on your screen. Write in your notebook. Question 22. What difference do you observe in the seeds after soaking? Compare with dry seeds and dried. The answer is the soaked seeds sprout while the dry seeds do not sprout. Question 23. What do you think would happen if the cotton wool had been let dry? The answer is the seed will not sprout. Question 24. In which direction did the roots grow? And the stem? The answer is the root grow in the downward direction, the stem grows in the upward direction. Question 25. How big did the plant grow in the cotton wool? The answer is the plant will grow up to the 4 cm. Question 26. Did small plants come out from all the seeds? The answer is no. Only soaked seeds gave rise to new plants. At page 164. Question 27. What is the color of the roots? The answer. It is off white in color. Question 28. Did you see any hair on the roots? The answer is, after 8 days, small hairs grew on the roots. Question 29. Try and pull out one little plant from the cotton wool. Were you able to pull it out? Why? The answer is, it was difficult to pull it out. The root grips the cotton. Question 30. Did you see how the root grips the cotton wool? Do you think that the roots hold the soil in the same way? Also look at the plant grown in your friends. Answer is, the yes. The roots grip the soil in the same way. At page 165, question number 31. What do you think? Which of these things listed by RF and Rupali grow? The answer is, all the things in the list of RF and Rupalis grow. Question 32. Why don't you make your own list of things that grow? Your, li your list can include the name of things that are in RF and Rupali's list. The answer is, man, cat, dog, mango, monkey, camel, plants, etc. grows. Think about yourself, in what ways have you changed over a period of time? Have you grown in any way? For example, question 33, has your height increased? How much taller have you grown in the last one year? The answer is, yes, my height is increased by half feet. Question 34, imagine that you had never cut your nails. Draw a picture of your finger in the notebook to show how would they look. The answer is on your screen. Question 35, what other part of your body some people cut it regularly, keeps growing. The answer is, my hair keeps growing. So these were the question answers from this chapter. 
I hope this video will really help you in completing your task. Like this video and share it with your friend. And yes, do not forget to subscribe to our school so that you will never miss chapter from us. We will be back with more chapters. Till then, Tara Student.